Welcome to Real Truth Real Quick. My name is Rick Smith, and I'm here with my friend Todd. How you doing, Hello, Todd? Hello, Real Truth Real Quick, friend. Well, I got I got a simple one for you today. Um, that we got to answer in five minutes, and the, and the question goes like this. Is there an unforgivable sin? And if so, what is it? Yes, there is an unforgivable sin, uh, and it is something that appears in the Scripture under the language of an unpardonable sin, but it's not what you think it is. Okay, well, tell us. Let's read some scripture. Get your Bible there. So Matthew chapter 12, it's also found in Mark chapter 3. But Matthew chapter 12, verse 30. This is when Jesus is coming to really the crescendo of his conflict with the spiritual and religious leaders of the nation of Israel who are rejecting him. They rejected the testimony of the Father about the Son. He said, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Okay, listen to him. Uh, Jesus had made claims to be the Messiah, the fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecies. Uh, They rejected Jesus' claim of himself. And then the works that he was doing by the power of the Holy Spirit, specifically in Matthew 12, he just got through casting out a demon or showing power over the bondage that men were in to the unholy spirit that dwells in all men that are separated from God. And Jesus, uh, showing his ability to reconcile man to God, is accused of being a devil himself. And so then Jesus oddly quotes Abraham Lincoln when he says, a house divided against itself cannot stand. And he also says a few other things about, hey man, you can't go into somebody's house and knock down the strong man unless you're stronger than he is. Uh, But then he goes on to just basically talk about who he really is. And that you gotta know by my signs. You see the weather, you read the clouds, you know the weather that's coming, you ought to know by what I've done, who I am. And they reject it and they say, no, he's not of God, he's of the devil. And Jesus says this, He says, he who is not with me is against me. He who does not gather with me scatters. Therefore, I say to you, any sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven people, but blasphemy against the Spirit shall not be forgiven. So what is blasphemy against the Spirit? In that sense, that was a one-time event in, in the historical revelation of God through the visible image of the invisible God in the person of Jesus Christ that the nation could reject their Messiah. And so there was judgment that was placed on the nation, which is why right after this in Matthew 13, Jesus begins to teach uh, about the coming kingdom through parables. And so the question is presented, well, what is going to happen if the kingdom that was to come and the people that are in it reject their king? What's the kingdom going to be like? And Jesus begins to unfold what's going to happen in God's kingdom program, given that he is rejected as, as Israel's king, as the Messiah king. Now, let me just say this. There is a sin that we can commit today that will not be forgiven. Uh, Hebrews 9.27, it says, It's appointed for man to die once, and after this comes judgment. So what's the unforgivable sin? It's continued unbelief right up until the moment when you stand before the Lord. So if you've never come to the place where you personally accept Jesus as your Savior, you're putting yourself in a position where you have no provision for your sin, and that is unpardonable. Uh, your works will not be sufficient. They will be deemed as filthy rags. And unless you take God's provision to be reconciled to him through the finished work of Christ on the cross where the perfect God's justice was perfectly met through the perfect sacrifice, there is no forgiveness. So we can't commit the sin of Israel, which by the way, that was a, that was a statement of judgment on the nation of Israel. Your leaders are going to take you away from me. But there were still individual Jews, both in that day and today in smaller amounts, that are trusting in who Jesus was. The whole early church was Jewish people. But the nation of Israel went into a time of judgment and suffering. The unforgivable sin today, Rick, is continued unbelief. Any other sin, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Good stuff. So what you're saying is there's there's an unpardonable sin, but a Christian can't commit it. That's right, because you've come out of your life of unbelief and you have believed in the graciousness of God revealed through Jesus Christ. Great stuff. Thanks. What a, what a great encouragement uh, of, what, of the power of the gospel. Uh, so we'll see you next week on another episode of Real Truth. Real quick. Deal with your sin, ask His forgiveness, and come back and abide. <laughs>